Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yegi here. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to go over eyelash extensions 101. So the client I'm going to demonstrate on, she wanted a very natural oh, ever getting eyelash. Oh my god. <laughs> This is the client's very first time of ever getting eyelash extensions. So I'm going to demonstrate how I explain and how I guide them through the process so they're not scared and they're comfortable throughout it. So I'll cover the prepping, the application, what I do with them. It'll be the full on process and I'll answer tips and tricks as I'm going. So it's kind of a long video. So if it's if certain parts that you feel like you don't care for or you already know how to do, I'll put a breakdown of the time of which question I answer and what time of the video and you can just skip through and get your questions answered. But basically, let me read you the list of the questions I'm gonna answer while I'm doing um, the full set of classic natural look on this client. Okay, so in this video, I will go over how to tape down the bottom lashes or use under eye patches if you choose to where to place the eyelash extension so you can place it or apply it to the client's natural eyelashes and the reasoning behind of that. And how I select the curl and the length based on what the client wants. In this video, she wants a very natural look. So, and it's her very first time of ever getting eyelash extension. So I'm gonna go over how I select the lashes to make sure it's not gonna be too dramatic for somebody who's never had eyelash extension. I'll also go over the options of clients who have very straight eyelashes, how to determine if you should do the eyelash extensions, what curl to select for them, or if it's a better option to do a lift um, and then do the eyelash extensions on top of that. I'll also cover what, what to do in the process if the client is starting to feel uncomfortable or if the tape or under eye patch has kind of moved and it's itching them or how to isolate and apply the eyelash extension on top of the natural eyelashes and we'll do a close I'll also up answer that. the question of what to do with baby lashes, if it's okay to apply an extension on there or not and how to determine that. Um, and How much glue to use and where to pick up the eyelash from the so strip. Watching. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> okay. So first thing we're gonna do is tape down your bottom eyelashes to protect them from sticking to the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a little weird, but it's not uncomfortable or it doesn't hurt. So it's just a little weird when your eyes are open, but once you close them, you don't really feel anything, okay? Mm -hmm. So open for me. Okay. Try to look up. I know it's super weird. Okay. There we go. And this is to protect them from touching the top. Mm -hmm. okay, give, I'll give you a break. Okay. Try opening again. Or let your eyes loose, um, kind of close them, but let them loose, and I'll just lift it without opening them, okay? Sometimes that's more comfortable. Okay. That was the worst part, I promise. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It's not bad when it's closed. And don't worry about your eyes twitching a little. Keep it closed. Um, they'll calm down once they trust me. <laughs> We're going to do the second eye. I'm just going to put a little um, extra layer of clear tape on top of that tape. Same process and this is just mainly to have a smoother surface just in case if any of the lashes get stuck we can easily just peel them off without damaging or hurting your natural lashes, okay? <laughs> Worse than surgery. <laughs> I know it's your first time, so it's super weird, but I promise you I won't hurt you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to just put this t tissue on your forehead, okay? It's just a tissue. I'm going to gently tape it down. This is um, what I'm going to use to place the extension so we can apply it to your natural eyelashes, okay? And to also not have my hands stick to your forehead. Um, are you okay? Though? Overall, you're comfortable? Yes. Okay. Just selecting the eyelashes I'm going to use on you, okay? I'm going to mm -hmm. go with the very natural curl and size. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to measure and see where yours stand, and we'll just do a tiny bit longer than yours. Looks like a good length. It's 
So I'm going to do the curl, which is a little bit extra curly. Because your natural eyelashes are so straight, this curl will help it have more. Your, like my eyelashes are straight, how does it help them become curly? So what it is actually, the extension itself is curlier. Mm -hmm. So the base of the extension is attached to your natural eyelash and then the rest of it will curl up. Mm -hmm. It won't um, curl your natural eyelashes, but the way it sits on there, it'll look curlier overall. And it'll kind of also maybe create a little bit of a double layer effect because your natural eyelash is a little bit straighter and it'll give it, it gives it a really nice look. Mm -hmm. So another option with straight eyelashes is we have a lift or a perm mm -hmm. process. So if you want your natural eyelashes to stay permanently for two months curly then we can just do that mm -hmm. and we can curl them and it stays like that for two months mm -hmm. and then if you want it more dramatic then we can add extensions mm -hmm. so um a lot of times people are okay with just having the curlier extensions sometimes mm -hmm. people that want them really curly then they would curl their natural eyelashes if they have them really really straight mm -hmm. and then put the extensions on top but mm -hmm. since you want it natural it should so we're gonna use size 11 13 and 15 okay mm -hmm. and the thick curl you don't have to memorize that we'll write it down in your formula so if you like it or if we want to arrange anything to change if you're going to get them filled we can always um we can always have a starting point and mm -hmm. keep making minor changes to get that perfect look you want okay. but i think you'll be happy with this
dry yet a little because also if um, you open your eye when the glue is not fully dry, kind of stings or tingles. Mm -hmm. So anytime you're going to open or going to adjust anything, we want to make sure we fully dry it before we okay. we fix or we arrange the tape or you open. Okay, so don't open unless I tell you basically. <laughs> Yeah, it's the tape that's itching you. <laughs> Keep it closed, okay? Mm -hmm. It's the inner corner or both? Uh, like the outer. I'm oh, sorry. outer, yeah. No, you're okay. Did that help? Mm hmm. Sometimes it sneaks up while it's closed, it just wiggles up. Is that better overall? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. If it kind of moves up again and it's um, itching you, let me know, okay? Okay. Do you mind if I do like a little talking for the video? Okay. Okay, so I zoomed in the video so you guys can see how I'm isolating, making sure that there is only one natural eyelash in between my tweezers before I apply the extension. Okay, and it's very important to do that and not stick anything together because that's when you can cause damage to the natural eyelash because each eyelash has a different growth rate. So if too many things are stuck together like that and one is trying to grow out and the one next to it is not ready to grow or yeah, grow yet, it's going to be pulling, pulling the eyelash that's not ready to grow. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay. Does it make sense? Comment below. I'll explain more. But um, basically, very, very important for you to make sure nothing's stuck together and you're only applying one extension on one of the natural eyelashes, okay? And also, if you can see um, how far I'm applying them from the natural growth or the eyelash line there, it's only one or two millimeters away from it, okay? You don't want it to touch the skin because that's when you can cause irritation or close the pore or hair follicle, um, but you also don't want it too far so it doesn't look funny, okay? So about one to two millimeters right there. Okay, that's it. <laughs> And I want to show you guys, you see how there's all those little baby hairs around this one eyelash? If they're very, very tiny, don't apply it on those. But for example, this one's a little bit thicker. We can still apply a shorter lash on it because the more we apply, the longer they're going to last since clients or 
since everybody loses one to five hairs a day okay so you want to aim to put it on almost every single eyelash unless they're very very tiny baby hairs and the rule of thumb is you never want to apply more than double the amount of extension as the natural eyelash so if the natural eyelash is about that thick i never want to put anything more than double the thickness of that okay or else it's going to be too heavy and it's not going to support it I also want to show you how to dip the eyelash extension in the glue because some people put too much glue or don't know what's enough to make sure it's going to be appropriate. So what I do, what my trick is, if you guys can see my little glue ring over here, when I grab the eyelash, you can see it i grab it from almost on top of the where the hair is and i dip it in more almost all the way until it's not touching my tweezers and then i kind of wipe it on the rim of the glue ring and then i apply it so like that i'm getting enough distributed all over the eyelash yet i'm not wasting time into you know taking out any excess over here or um yeah I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to try to focus on the glue ring so you guys can see. Okay, so grab an eyelash. I'm grabbing it almost from the top. And I'm dipping it in almost where my tweezers are. And I'm wiping on the rim. And then it goes on the natural eyelash. See, there's a baby hair attaching to it, so I'm going to gently peel that off to make sure nothing's stuck together. Sorry, there it wasn't focusing on this. So there was this little baby hair that was attached to my eyelash extension. All I did was kind of peel it off from it to make sure nothing's stuck, to, nothing stuck together, okay, to protect the health of the natural eyelash. Now they're getting pretty full, so it's harder for me to find any more empty natural eyelashes to apply on. But I'm going to try my best to look and make sure make sure that we're applying on ev almost or every single one of her natural lashes. See, when I went back and looked for it again, I found another one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply another one on that. I'm going to keep searching. Oh, look, there's another one. So always double, double check to make sure you got every single eyelash if you want a good full set, I guess. Um, because if you don't put enough, they won't last as long since we do lose one to five a day, okay? It may look good at first, but they won't last. So you want to make sure that you're double checking, even though it looks really full now that it looks like I put it on every single eyelash, I'm still going to go in there and kind of lift them and look around to see if there's anything that I might have missed the first time around. Look, there's one more. So do, um, do the d due diligence and take extra five minutes to do that. And that's what will set you apart compared to someone who doesn't take their time to do that for their clients and of course that's what makes a loyal client or a happy client and you that's your goal to make sure everybody's happy
And I want to dry them really well so it doesn't burn when you open. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and untape this part. Okay, I'm going to double check to make sure nothing is stuck. Okay, we're good. So keep it closed. I'm going to gently take the tape out. It might pull a little, but it should not be too, too bad. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to try to dry a little more, and I'll also untape this side so you can open. Sorry. Pause. She also asks a question in there. Fuck me. Kill me next. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yegi here. I want to go over. Um, for in a couple of days I'm gonna go ahead and post another video so what happened with this client was actually when we were done with her very first time ever doing eyelash extensions she thought they looked way too natural okay so a lot of times it is better and it's safer to go more natural for a client who's never had them before because if they're not used to it sometimes they think oh my god it's too dramatic it's too much and it's harder to remove them than add a few extra okay so what I um, so in a few days I'll post a video of how I handled that situation and how I turned it into a hybrid look to give her a little bit fuller look and keep her happy and yes that's it I'm done for today bye <laughs>